back from a little break, had a hectic couple of weeks traveling, which is why I haven't uploaded as much. I went to Amsterdam with my girlfriend Georgia and we had an amazing time. I would highly, highly recommend it to anyone watching this video. And then I flew out to Barcelona, which is why I'm currently filming this intro. So a while ago, I found this old book at a market in London. It essentially talks about Cambridge University and some of its colleges. It has descriptions as well as paintings from the 1800s. As you may or may not know, I actually studied at the University of Cambridge where I got a bachelor's degree in natural sciences. So I immediately thought it could be a super nostalgic little photo project to go back to the University of Cambridge and try to recreate some of these 200 year old paintings as modern day photographs. So I hit up my mate, Mike Chudley, and we went to Cambridge together to see what we could do. We're at Downing College. The painting that we're trying to recreate, we don't think the building exists anymore or it's changed so much. Like, if you look at the image, there's nothing on either side of the actual building, but they really expanded, the college got much bigger. So we're just gonna try and make it as close as possible, but hopefully the other paintings are gonna be easier. In the image, it's like on the right, but I'm just gonna go ahead and take a symmetrical shot because it's actually quite a nice symmetrical scene right here. Yeah, the college must have changed a lot since that painting. I just realized it's quite shit up there. <laughs> I look so weird with this like, uh, I'm gonna get changed in a bit. Anyway, we're at Emma College now. So this shot, thankfully, unlike Downing, actually hasn't really changed. So it's quite easy for us to recreate it. Uh, we're using a uh, wide lens, so all the way zoomed out to get everything in frame. And uh, I'm trying to think if I know any fun facts about this college. They have the uh, oldest unheated pool in England. I know that it's really cold, it's quite pointless. There's like one day in the year that you can go in it because it's actually warm enough. Uh, from that, yeah, I don't know. It's pretty penguin. <laughs> <laughs> right, so <coughs> the building that we're currently stood up here we're pretty sure it didn't exist when the painter actually painted it. So if you look over there, <coughs> we can't go as far back as the painter did without these pillars getting in the way. So we're going to try our best to make it as similar as possible, but it might be slightly different. Just like this. Got it. <coughs> right, so this shot's going to be a bit tricky. It's all behind locked gates. I no longer have my student card, so what we're going to have to do is we're going to Chill here. Oh, I can see some students. I can see some students. Try tailgate. Yeah, try tailgate them in. I'm just looking at the reference image now, and you can see how much time has passed since the painting was actually made because there's a big fuck off yellow crane right there in the middle of it. Apart from that, nothing much has actually changed. I mean, that building's the same, the chapel's still there, even though it's not in the painting. But I'm just gonna stand here, try to line it up just about the same. The tree's kind of covering the bridge a little bit, but that's, that's okay. Boom. Just outside Christ College now, this is the picture that we're trying to recreate. I hope I don't get demonetized for the music in the background. I, don't th I think it'll be fine. So we like this. Even more. I can crop and post. I, w I just want to make sure everything's in there. Yeah. Cool. Trinity College is one of the harder colleges to get into. So I had my mate Justin help us get in as there were two shots we we're trying to get there. The first shot was of the old library and unfortunately it didn't work out because it was closed on the weekend. So while we were there, we looked around the college chapel and then checked out the dining hall, which is a pretty ridiculous place if you think about the fact that 18 year olds have lunch here. <coughs> a mate of mine very kindly let us into Trinity. So we are currently at the Great Court. This is the um, same college that Isaac Newton went to. I think somewhere, do you know that story of like Isaac Newton sitting under a tree or something and an apple falling on his head? So that tree, somewhere here, apparently it got fucked by Storm Eunice. So I don't know if it's actually still around. All right, so Mike's just over there. This is a shot we're trying to get. I think I can just zoom in more. Yeah, hope you enjoy Thanks, Steve. See ya. Things like this. 
pretty sure I've just got it. Why is he still over there? How come you went all the way here? You're at the edge of the path, so probably like here, but with the grass there and the grass there. Oh, uh, you're right, you're right. I got this. Oh, good Yeah, it's terrible. Huh? Terrible. Huh? So we just tried to get into King's College. Unfortunately, it's a Sunday, which means we can't get into the chapel. Thankfully, in one of my previous POVs, which I'll put here, <laughs> I've actually gotten a similar shot, so I'll put that up on screen. But we're now outside of Queen's College and we're trying to recreate this shot. So there's a mix of like old buildings that are in the painting that are still here, just like that brown one over there. But the, bit, the bridge has been rebuilt, the pub is new, that's new. Okay, there's a boat, perfect. <clears throat> oh, I forgot the framing of the shot. It's like this. I can copy it in and post. Hey. Yeah. I'm from Churchill. Okay, oh, okay, oh, we, we're not allowed. allowed. So we successfully infiltrated John's for about half a minute. I was just scanning the crowd for anyone who has like a St. John's College uh, puffer jacket on. So I tapped someone on the shoulder and they like let us in. We were there as soon as I put my GoPro on, one of the staff basically came up to us and told us to leave. Thankfully, Mike was able to quickly snap a shot and film some of this interaction, so I'll put it up now. Um, but yeah, that was a bit rushed, but I think we still got the image close-ish. So it's been about half a year since I last was on the other side of that fence, which is actually the day that I graduate, which is the only day when you're a Cambridge student that you get to be on that court. So this is the old library and Senate House. That's where all the old tradition is. I think you like, we had a different ceremony because we had COVID, but normally I think you have to like kiss someone's ring for the graduation. It's quite weird. And it's all in Latin and no one knows what's going on. Um, I actually made a video on this. So uh, click if you want to see that. So the shot that we're trying to get is basically of these two buildings. This fence wasn't there when the painting was made. It's a bit of a shame, but I think it's not a major issue. So I'm just going to go F7.1. There's no point in getting Boker in here. Uh... Who would have thought that a book with paintings that were drawn in 1815 could actually inspire photographers in 2022? Make sure to check out Mike's video on his channel. I'll link it below. Him and Optical Wonder are directly responsible for this channel. So if you like what I do, definitely check them out. I'm basically trying to follow their footsteps. Really enjoyed walking around Cambridge, not as a student, because I'm way more stress-free than I was. Like, this is all beautiful, but if you're actually studying here, like, it's hard, man. It's not, it's not that fun. <laughs> but yeah, let me know if you like this video. If you have other location ideas or video ideas, let me know. I'll see you next week.